welcome to the College of Winterhold. We're going to be talking about making a College of Winterhold mod. Currently the um, editor isn't out yet, so we're just planning it at the moment. It's always a good time to plan when you're waiting for something. Now, we don't know what bugs are going to be in the editor, or even if you're going to be able to make a room. Previously you had to have a room converted into an ESM in order to have an NPC be able to walk across it. Now the um, editor in the past didn't make rooms in ESM for format, the minute in ESP formats, which means the AI would often disappear, end up stuck to the ceiling, all kinds of things because of a nav mesh bug. We don't know if they've fixed that. We don't even know if nav meshes are being used at this point. So these plans are made on the basis that the editor that we're going to be getting will work and won't have that bug. Now um, everything else has changed, so I've got every reason to believe that that should have changed. But um, we can't be certain. <coughs> now, the College of Winterhold is one of those uh, mods that base well, one of those places that functions as a guild or a college, but doesn't actually have the facilities to deliver on that promise. We have barracks, barracks up there somewhere, the uh, March Mages room. A library you can't read books in, and um, a main area there and a foyer that basically don't do an awful lot. And down here, <coughs> down here we have um, a ruin of a town because the rest of it fell into the uh, fell into that chasm during the Great Collapse. The college lost some of its buildings, so we've got a nice excuse for it not being a big town, a nice excuse for it not being a big college, all nice and neat. However, it's lost too much, It's not. there's nothing left of it, there's nothing you can call a college here now really. So, we're going to fix that in a new mod. So, let's just, let's just look at some of the possibilities, shall we? Starting with the barracks. Now, assuming these aren't one-piece sets, or that, assuming we can, we can put doors, say, here, I could theoretically make this tower go down as well as up. And that's the only directions we got really. We can't go outwards, we've got to go down or up. So we can add more rooms in this area if we wanted to. You know, it shouldn't be too difficult. Even if we've got to just stick a door here to access another area like this further down, it might be a bit unrealistic with that wall being there, but it'll work, we can do it without interfering too much in the existing space. And that's important because if I started messing about with this space too much, you start getting incompatibilities with other mods and let's face it, right, being able to run more than one mages mod might be handy. So we can expand this and we can expand the other one as well. Now, <coughs> we all, we've got a problem uh, with classrooms I think and stuff. The is due for a change in leadership. It's just basically there's no room for them. I mean, this is a kind of idea. When Beth decided to add a dungeon part to the quest line for this, they thought, well, where can we place some stairs? Oh, we haven't got any room at all. I know, we'll just slap a cheap old trapdoor down there and make do. Which is a sure sign this place was, uh, well, they rushed it basically to get it done on time. Otherwise they would have had a proper entrance like they did in other places. Because if you notice, the, the job they did in other places is far better than the job they did here. This is obviously one of the places that didn't get done to the satisfaction that the, the plans that they originally hoped for. So we can fix that. This room here is very underused except for on a couple of quests. People usually fire lightning bolts at nothing. You know, they're just at walls. Doesn't do anything really, but it's an important room. <coughs> Not sure what we can do there. But here, if you imagine here a hallway stretching into the distance, right beyond that door, that door leads to the hallway instead of leading outside. And then the hallway has the door leading to outside. So you have a massive hallway added to the um added to the college, right? Which didn't exist, which will then supply doors down the side, like that and that supplying as an access to new rooms you know new classes and stuff like that and even downstairs down to dungeons and whatever else so we've got a means of adding more things to it and adding a proper foyer as well now i'd like you to think of some like hogwarts um hogwarts 
main area you know where you sit with a class master at the front that kind of area imagine that beyond that door all right because it hasn't got anything like that in this mod when I mean, in this college there's, there's there is no main area for students to collect in no area where people can talk or do things now imagine each one of those side doors is a classroom specializes in something shut up Specialising in something, Juma Studies, Necromancy, Falmer, uh, you know, Snow Elf, whatever, you know. And imagine each one of them has a point system going from 0 to 100, and the more you do in them, the more expert you become in them, which then unlocks features. Now, let's just take the Juma Studies for, department, for instance, right? Let's imagine you've got a skill tree like this, right? You won't see it because this is probably hard coded, but imagine you've got a Juma skill tree like that, right? Zero point stats at the beginning, you don't have anything. 25 points allows you to do certain things with the Juma stuff. 50 points, you start to be able to manipulate machinery. 75 points, you can start taking over machinery, making them work for you. 100 points, whatever right now imagine um, you get books written in Juma that you can't read until you get say 50 points and when you get 50 points you can start translating them then you find out about quests related to them so for instance you find out about some hidden enchantment it's uh, buried deep in one of the ruins and it tells you the location in a book which you suddenly can read when you get to 50 points because you now become proficient at the Juma studies aspect and therefore can be, be begin to think like a Juma and read Juma and fix Juma technology and imagine you get to 75 and suddenly you can sneak up to the machines and make them work for you imagine having say um, going into a Juma ruin and sneaking up to a centurion and just messing about with the mechanics you know, and so you can actually change it, you know, so it helps you fight your way through the dungeon, that kind of thing. Right, necromancy would have something similar, but for necromancers, for instance. Now, <coughs> let's just go, let's go up to, uh, not the Axe Mages quarters, the uh, Arcadium. Now, this is a non-functional library. It's not, it's not used as anything at all. all right. Uh, whew, there we go. Now, this is the ideal place to come and look up with law and everything else. I mean, there isn't any place in Skyrim better than this to study law. Now, as law fans out there like to learn it and everything else, and this is the best place to do it. Trouble is, if you try to read any books here, you see, you get done for stealing. You can't actually take any books out, read them or anything. The only thing you can do is give him the books he wants, and then you never see him again. You never get a chance to read them. The only books you can read are these. So all of these would have to be unlocked, right? Every single one of them to make it functional. And change one of these so you can put your own books in. Now, <clears throat> this introduces a whole new line of uh, study. Arcane knowledge. Now, you dig up books from elsewhere and you stick them in here. Now, if I make a list of books that you can put in there, and every time one's added of that particular book, it makes a little tick your arcane knowledge goes up by one point until eventually it says the arcane knowledge allows you to do things in the ancient studies of Skyrim such as read dragon text and stuff like that and that in turn allows you to uh, reveal dragon locations in the dragon shrines it allows you to find out about the dragon priests, the masks the lifestyles before that by reading ancient texts because your ancient knowledge has gone up because of the books you've collected and read which all go in there which then unlock quests which unlock locations special items usual stuff all because you're studying by bringing the books here and adding them to there right you get more things you can do it tells you more about the world around you you get to do things you know like um identify all the dragon hideouts by doing this you can do that with the blades as well but the blades are a bit hit and miss this way you take the chair uh, cha you take the replace well you replace the guy that's in the blades the old guy who tells you it you can do your own studying and you can find out where these dragons are without actually going to the blades because the blades want you to kill all the dragons they are dragon killers whereas the greybeards aren't so this gives you the choice you can either be a dragon killer or a way of the f what a follower of the voice. This is a neutral way of doing it. You look a bit 
Anyway, this is um, this is this is will turn into an arcane knowledge feature, I'm sure of it. Now let's go up to the Archmage's quarters. This these quarters are actually quite good. The only problem here is the foyer. They're not very uh, well laid out. Now here. You've got a basic fire that should be a little bit better used. I mean, Archmage doesn't even have any assistance. There's no desks. There's nothing here. There's no. It's basically, it's just basic room. It's decorated real quick. This room here itself is quite good. Here, you know, it may be a few mannequins, a few more storage places, but I mean, it's quite good. You've got um, the bed, some some cupboards there. Use the stuff you need, even some uh, enchantment benches and alchemy benches, you know. But it could be better. But I mean, it's functional. This area is the main area that needs a change, though. Now, uh, if we go back down again, now there's another problem here. It's just to pad it out. Remember, each of these classes will have quest lines specifically for the classes. So you'd follow the quests in the classes and complete them you know, in due course, which would earn your points towards the mastery of that uh, class, right, which would then unlock special abilities, like I said before, and these quests might be, you know, go for quests, go into some deep dark dungeon and do something or whatever else, or they may just simply study something quests, because this is a college after all, you're supposed to learn here, right, but this is going to be a centre of law, magic and learning, in the uh, College of Winterhold mod. That's what it's going to be about. And you're going to get bonuses based on what you learn. You're not going to become super strong, but you become super wise. Right? Now there's another problem here. This college isn't trusted by the by the um, people of the Winterhold down there. Eventually they're going to come charging up here in a mob and try and kill all the wizards. It just takes one incident. And uh, one of the incidents that happens during the uh, quest is there's tacks all over that, all over the Winterhold area. It's part of the main quest of the College of Winterhold, basically. So we can use that as a, use that to trigger a mob running up here and attacking the place, and the mage is having to fight them off along this bridge. So basically, what you've got here is the beginning, possibly, of the mod. You become Archmage. The um, the baddies come galloping up here, right? Start attacking you. You fight them off. You beat them, and then everybody realizes what happened. They all calm down and start trusting each other a little bit more. And then, in order to make amends or to keep the peace, when the college expands, and it will, the town gets more trade. So this will improve as well. This town here, with you know, it's basically a house, a shop, the Giles building, and an inn. Will suddenly get these buildings, these ruins rebuilt, and that one there rebuilt, and this one here rebuilt. There's another one round here somewhere as well. There, no. Yeah. There, that one rebuilt. So there'll be more people in Winterhold, and they too will have quests. Although I'll probably make them magic related quests and see colleges over there cure this plague victim, heal this guy, find herbs, that kind of thing. This will all be done so from here. The uh, trust be between the Winterhold and the college will slowly improve as part of the mod until uh, you got a few people that hate them and a few people that like them. It becomes a normal relationship again. Right, because the the college will help Wilhelm, you know, fix its uh, mis fix itself. So it will start with a battle, maybe after doing the rooms, of course. The rooms will be there for when you're learning. We'll start with a battle, you know, and then the main quest will kick in as Archmage, and you start doing things. And this bridge here, maybe um, maybe you fix something on it so it doesn't you know, drop off the side. Anyway, that there is the College of Winterhold idea. Now the idea here is you learn, you become familiar with topics, you study the topics, 
you know, you pick a subject like um, the snow elves and you learn all about the snow elves, which gives you advantage against the Falmer, that kind of thing. So when you actually do come to do the quest involving the Falmer, you've got a little bit of an edge. Same with the Juma and stuff like that. All these extra classrooms will teach you certain magic studies, you know, based on uh, these here. You know, but there'll be a little uh, thing behind in the background that's tallying, keep a tally of how much work you've done in each area and how much arcane knowledge you have and we'll be unlocking features that way using them as well so you're not just learning, you're actually adding towards a total experience pool which will make this college feel more like a college and less like a, a quick quest location I'm actually looking forward to the um, idea of an arcane knowledge unlock you know, which makes you into one of the uh, all-knowing types of the ancient law, and maybe even having a cult of ancient law within the college, which uh, you head once you reach a certain level, and teach other students, you know, the ancient law, and have them practice it, and all that, all that kind of things. I think it, I think it's what this this needs. This is the area that needs modding first. The area that needs modding the most, and I think that is a rough idea of what it needs. Decorating an eye candy. You know, this is boring. These are going to be scripted quests, things you can do. There will be eye candy, of course, but I mean, that's not my main priority. My main priority is to make this feel like a centre of learning. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. Let me know what you think, you know, on the, uh, on the forums or on YouTube, and post your own ideas. Uh, this has also been a test of a new mic I've got, so if it sounds a bit different from the old mic, it's because I've got a new headset mic. It's um, not as good as my desk mic, but this is more suitable for this kind of video. Anyway, um, I'm going to get going. Uh, this is this is uh, something I'm definitely thinking of making once the once the creation kit becomes available. We're still in the planning phase, so much will change between now and then. Feedback at this point is welcome, but remember, I'm trying to keep within the law without breaking the law and without being too restricted by the law so don't ask for a Gandalf okay right see you later